This magical waterfall turns anything that touches it into stone. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. The natural scientific process that shape how our world forms and grows can be a very interesting thing to observe. It doesn't take much to do it. You literally have to step outside. I feel that's what makes being in nature so rewarding and freeing. You're seeing our world the way it was meant to be. There are many oddities that occur in nature that are extremely fun to explore as well. Things that leave you scratching your head and wondering how it's possible this occurs in our natural world. One of these has been fascinating people since all the way back in 1630. When it was first opened to the public is Mother Shipton's Cave. Check out what's been drawing people to this place for hundreds of years. Originally called the Dropping Well, it was opened to the public back in 1630. This is a drawing of the spring from the 1750s. As centuries went by, people began noticing some strange things happening to anything that came in contact with the water from the spring. The items would seem to become petrified or turn to stone. Because of this, many people felt that they too would turn to stone if they came in contact with the water. The spring is also said to have been home to an ancient evil that came in the form of the daughter of a prostitute. According to the legend, Mother Shipton, also known as Ursula Southiel, was born in the cave by a local prostitute. Oh, and people also thought she was the devil. Her physical hideousness was said to be proof of her demonic origin. Legend also says that she predicted the Spanish Armada, Great Fire of London of 1666, and the invention of cell phones. Even with that fascinating story, most of the attention that the spring gets is because of the properties of the water. The water from the spring actually contains large amounts of soluble limestone. When the water touches something, the limestone deposits start to build up. Over time, it effectively turns everything in its path into stone. People have been hanging items from under the limestone-rich water for decades. A man's top hat and a woman's bonnet from the 1850s are still there to this day. Someone even left a bicycle under the water to let it be turned to stone and reclaimed by nature. It almost looks like an art piece that someone set up purposely. Teddy bears are also popular items to be hung from the limestone wall. The porous nature of many objects that are left behind makes it easier for the limestone to solidify the objects. Though it's fun to believe these waters hold some sort of magical powers, science has been able to give us an educated answer to this natural occurrence. It's really amazing that this wall took thousands of years to form. This is a view from the top of the mineral-rich natural spring. It's amazing something like this exists and I've never heard about it. I can only imagine what viewing the spring was like before science gave us a rational answer about the process occurring. You really would have no other explanation than a supernatural one. I mean, water turning things to stone really does sound like something straight out of a children's book. So if you're ever in England and are trying to think of things to fill your time, check out this quirky little spring and see what all the fuss is about.